Karate Combat Season 4 is brought to you by Manscaped, the right tools for the job. Use code hashtag KCOMBAT for 20% off. Log on to manscaped.com and enter the hashtag KCOMBAT at checkout. Our referee, Dan Mojavetti, gets this one underway. White pants for Igor de Castaneda, black pants for the American Ross Levine. Obviously came to Karate Combat off a phenomenal kickboxing oh, career. Fainting. Highlight reel knockouts. I love the feints. I love the way he cuts him off. You know he's been there a lot. A lot of outside movement from De Castaneda. We know he's potentially looking for that massive overhand right. It's what he used to shut the lights out of Jorge Perez in his last bout. Ooh, beautiful Loki. Yeah, yeah nice timing on the kick. And uh, they're going to stand back up. Ross just motioning to the referee. Got to be careful about grabbing the legs. You can catch a kick, but you can't directly grab the legs unless your opponent's throwing a kick. Lots of feints in the hips from Levine there. That twitching motion, trying to make your opponent miss a beat or miss a breath, perhaps. Trying to put some really great strike, as Levine said. Kelvin Cater. You know, who was here? I completely didn't recognize him because, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't expect him here. It was so weird. Oh, nice body kick there. Liver kick. Yeah, rear really kick up the open side. Responded in kind by De Castaneda. You know, we mentioned it earlier, Bas, but the winner of this fight gets a title shot against our middleweight champion, Shaheen Atomov. Yeah, Ross said that is his only motivation to win this fight, so he can go for the belt. Now, Levine does typically fight uh, Southpaw, but he switched stance a couple of times in this bout One already. There That's we go, the switching. Muay Thai system, back switching <laughs> stances over and over. Yeah, switching back to orthodox. That was a nice wheel kick from the Castaneda. Wider the mark, but very fluid. Oh! He's getting backed up in the corner here. This is perhaps the ring experience of Levine paying off. Very calm, very smart, having his hands down, that means your opponent's probably going to hit the head. Interestingly, Levine told us this is one of the longest periods he's ever had for a training camp for a specific fight. So hopefully very well prepared indeed. I know he's coming off the back of uh, getting married in November of last year. So right. congratulations to him and his wife. That was that right hand from Igor, but it didn't land. As you could see, Levine was ready for it. Yeah, that right hand that uh, Igor de Castaneda put on Jorge Perez back in uh, episode nine of season three was uh, quite something, but it was part of uh, a counter-attack, really, of slipping the head to the side and landing the shot almost at the, the exact same moment. Absolutely shut the lights out for uh, Perez. 10 seconds left in round number one. De Castaneda dives forward to close the distance, but not able to do anything with that tie-up. An interesting kick from the clinch from Levine. It ended up being uh, almost a knee, Ooh, but he was yeah. throwing from such a short range. He wanted to push him away and then go for a head kick. So, Except he forgot to push. <laughs> <laughs> so first round in the books there. We're going to take a look back at some of the replays. And Bas, what did you think about the uh, the ringmanship from uh, I Levine? I think that he's completely in control, Ross Levine. The way he cuts him off, constantly fainting. I mean, you don't see fighters do that a lot. A beautiful kick to the body. And now a beautiful kick come back from, yes, Igor. Yeah, Levine did feel like that the one thing he had to neutralize was that big right hand. Now, obviously, everybody has a chance if a shot like that hits you, and Levine was very cognizant of that fact, but he, he did feel like the weapons that Castaneda brought were perhaps a little bit uh, single track. Yeah, this was a feeling out round, you could tell. You know, he's moving in, moving out, you know, he's fainting here, fainting there, cutting him off and drink the whole time, seeing what he's doing. And now I think he's going to build a game plan together, which they did in the break, uh, including his training partners, of course. And let's see if he can exploit that out. The Castaneda, he has the same thing here. He also got some instructions. Let's see if he can do it. So second round underway here. Nice jab there. Yeah, Keep opening going. up with a double jab is the Castaneda again, though. Levine's backing him up to the corner of the pit. He takes so much power away from the striker if you push him backwards, because it's very hard to plant your feet while you're punching. Because you're moving back. Ooh, that was a nice right hand by the Castaneda already. Yeah, Levine's got quite a low guard here when he comes forward. Almost as like he's trying to parry a, a big incoming overhand shot rather than yeah. block it. Just to bait him. Because he knows he has that hand, so he's doing it on purpose. 
That's uh, the American constantly marching forward here. Not able to land too much of substance yet. He, he's in control, he's landing some shots, but there's nothing hugely clean by either of these fighters. And again, Bass, what do you think's behind Castaneda coming forward to just try and tie up here? Well, maybe he thought he was going to move forward. Ooh, wait. Well, you go until the referee tells you to stop, and the, the referee did not tell the fighters to stop, and that's caught to Castaneda unawares, and he's not considered down to... Well, now they're going to bring him back up, but uh, that could have been bad for the Castaneda. You've got to go to when the ref tells you to stop. Oh, oh. big right oh. shot as the counter. That's oh. backed up against the face, spinning wheel kick it. to the head. Oh, and the referee's going to wave yeah. this one off. That didn't land. I'm telling and you. And the Castaneda is, is not agreeing with the stoppage. But Ross Levine's going to get a TKO victory in the second round here. Yeah, the Castaneda is, is decrying that sequence of events. I mean, we're going to take a look back at the stoppage. I do wonder if, uh, you know, he could have been given a little bit more of an opportunity to recover and come back there because, well, you know. Castaneda stood up. He was wobbling on his feet. So. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, perhaps take a look back at the finish here. So let's take a look at the Boom. finish, and it was a lovely right hand, wasn't it? That backed him up. Now that kick didn't land. De Castaneda was essentially taking a rest there. And then look, he came to sit up. See, I, I think perhaps he could have been given a bit more time, but there was a beautiful right hand that really sparked this finishing sequence. And look at the intent to land that wow. wheel kick. He knew exactly where the target was. Oof. Very well timed. Yeah, the Castaneda was lucky to not get seriously injured there, though. But uh, that is going to do it for this one. Let's go down into the pit and get the hand of Ross Levine raised.